Welcome back everyone to some more Once Human. It's been a little bit since I last played and actually if you're watching the stream right now I am not here. This is actually a pre-recorded video for once. Uh, I have a vacation that I'm currently taking but once this video is done the entire playthrough of my Once Human playthrough is going to be looping pretty much until I get back and then once I get back then we'll be playing games once again uh, since I left, though, we're going to talk a little bit about some stuff that I uh, kind of missed out on. And then from there, we'll go out, go hunting and all that fun stuff. So since I last played, they added some hunting things that you can do. Uh, I did unlock the first one, which is animal capture. So now you can capture animals and then you can also tame them. But I haven't unlocked this one yet. I haven't even redeemed the rewards that you get. Uh, and we'll go into pretty much what the plans are for Once Human. So, my server right now is currently in Phase 6. Now, if you're not aware how this works, essentially, I have 14 days to choose a new server. And once that time is up, then my character will move to the inter Eternal Land, from my understanding. And then from there... I can still choose another server, but once you choose a server, you're kind of locked into that one, from my understanding, until the scenarios, similar to this one, is over. So, right here, that's pretty much what this explains. Now, if I wanted to, I could do sign up. Now, the only reason I, I probably am going to wait is this one right here. Uh, this is the next PvE scenario. Mana bus right here is the same one that's currently uh, we've been playing, but they do have a hard mode. Uh, the only difference is if we... I don't want to get locked into hard mode when we have a new scenario beginning in September. So we have right here Evolution's Call. That's the PvP one that's currently ongoing as well. But then the next PvE one, which right now I'm on a PvE server... This one begins in October, the way of winter. And then this Prime vs. Clash, which is a faction war, this one actually begins in September. I haven't done any PvP yet, but a territory war sounds kind of cool. I'm going to try it. I'm going to join a faction. We're going to do some videos on it. And I am going to make that kind of like a, a new series in a way of once once this does come out in September, there's a lot of games dropping, so I don't know if I'll have time to cover between then, but if I do, I will try to, and then once Prime vs. Clash drops, that's going to be like a once human, Prime vs. Clash, like part one, all the way however many episodes, and into this one, part once human, the way of winter, part one, however many episodes, so... They've got some uh, some cool stuff planned right now. My from my understanding too is once you do like sign up for a server. So like for instance, if I was doing Mana Bus again, uh, the cool thing is you can see number one the difficulty. So it, it does get harder. Any quests that you've already completed, from my understanding, is you can go to them uh, and then just pretty much get the rewards for it without having to do the entire quest over again, which is kind of cool. I think at some point, maybe like after we do the other two new scenarios, maybe I'll come back and say, hey, we haven't done Band and Bust in a while. Might as well do it while there's a drought. Uh, we'll see though. That's kind of just like a thought. On top of that, there's also these uh, anomalies, which change the damage and any effects going on on that server so for this one you have deviants have high damage reduction so they take less damage of course and then you also have countermeasures where they have any phase rat mold damage or fortress warfare there's tons of them there's a lot you can see it right here different weapons that you can get from the wish machine different blueprints that you can be found there's same thing again But there's a lot here. The wish machine. 
has some different weapons. Uh, the only problem is, essentially, if we did do this, it would be all the same content we've kind of already done, just on a more difficult scenario. Not opposed to doing that, but uh, like I said, there, there's a lot of games coming out in September, and I, I don't want to get stuck into one of these, and then all of a sudden Primeverse Clash drops, and now we're signing up for the new scenario. But these only last for about six weeks anyways. And then same thing with the PvP one. So, hopefully that kind of, if you were curious on how this game works, or if like you haven't played it yourself yet, that's kind of how it, how it goes. Uh, you keep all your items. Everything goes into like this inventory system instead. So literally everything in my, like all of this right here is gonna go to here. And I believe when you switch a server, can click on this button and you get 20,000 currency like automatically right now we have zero because we're on this is my first server but once you're on a new server all of your items will be right here and then you can click it so if you have like it say you have a gun and you're like I don't I don't care about anything else but I want that gun because I love that gun and it's fully upgraded it might use all of your resource but if you click on it and then you hit confirm, it'll drop right into your inventory. And now you can use it from like day one. Uh, but of course, it's going to be whatever, the, as better the gear is or as better the item or the ammo or whatever it is, the more expensive that's going to be. So um, just got to take that into account, which we'll kind of, we'll get to that once, like, like I said, when the new scenarios begin, I uh, will actually go over that. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what I understand has been going on with this game. Um, I know some people are still having a good time with it, been enjoying it. I know a lot of people have been joining the Discord saying, hey, I've been watching your Once Human playthrough. Appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. I joined on a server, too. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Um. I've been watching, personally, I've been watching the Discord myself, seeing what else they, they add. And uh, I think this game still has a pretty pretty good looking future at the moment. Uh, but I haven't actually tried this hunting yet, so let's try going out there. And I'll talk a little bit more about uh, the plan. So... Like I said earlier at the very beginning of the stream, like once once I get back from my vacation and stuff, I'll upload this as a regular video. Uh, so that way you can just watch it whenever or anybody that misses the stream, they can do that. So if you are watching right now, hello chat. Hi, hope you're doing well. It's a little bit different, but I wanted to try something with this here. Um, let me see, here we go. I was pressing B for a second there. Pull out my car. Um, but yeah, we, I wanted to try something a little different. So, like I said, I don't know how long this video is going to go as I'm recording it. Because it's just raw gameplay of me playing the game and yapping as usual. But the ultimate goal is once this video is done it's going to go into the very first episode of once human and then from there it's going to go through all of the episodes so i think this will be a good opportunity for anybody that is watching the stream if you haven't seen the first one if you missed other parts like it's literally going to be playing my goal is until i get back so that's a lot of content that's over like 20 30 hours of footage so at least like two three days and then when i get back stream will end and we'll uh we'll be back to normal schedule with uh base marine 2 that's the next big game that's coming out that i'll be covering on stream 
and then whatever else is dropping throughout the month. I think there's Dead Rising. Dead Rising remake drops this month. Final Fantasy 16 and God of War Ragnarok comes to PC this month too. Don't know if I'm going to be able to cover either one of those, uh, but we'll see. I'll figure it out once it gets a little bit closer. But I hope you guys have been uh, doing well for, for once. But I know a lot of people have been jumping into the live streams too while I've been playing other stuff. Um, asking if I was going to return. I've been continuing to say I'm planning on it. I'm just trying to find the time. And I'm glad I today I was finally able to find some time because I, I want to play more of this game. It's just I don't want to do a lot of the same content I've already done over and over again. Especially when there's new experiences out there to be had that I've never done before. But I am excited since it's been a little bit of a break from the game. I am excited for that faction war. I've also told uh, some people in the Discord, like, hey, I, I think I'm going to do this. So if you, I know a lot of you joined because you want more Once Human. And I plan on continuing to cover it, so wild how how large the series has begun so thank you to the you specifically for watching it but it's been fun so the goal here is to try using the the tranquilizer i haven't like i said i haven't done it at all but from my understanding is now when you see animals and it can be anything from like wolves, bears, deer, literally any type of animal that you see out there, you can equip this tranquilizer and throw it at them. You have to get their health down a little bit first. But then once they drop down from there, you can try to do it. So I saw that this is oh god going down the hill <laughs> hold on hold on hold hold all right we're good before we actually get into that hold on another thing i keep forgetting about i have so many challenges that i never did let me take these photos there's one there's two there's three, four, five. That's an easy challenge done. Say cheese. Okay. And then let's go. Yeah, so it says one of our main objectives is go to Eternal Land. I haven't even checked these quests in a while. Complete challenge goals or season goals. Here's the go to eternal land one. Complete more challenge. Yeah, beyond the world. I am really excited though for more of the the events that they have going on. I think those will be really cool to see. Can we open up the let's summon V. So what's the other commissions that we had? Yeah, I'm so behind on these it's just been a little bit so i'm on week four because that's kind of when the like week one two and three were is where they had the most content and then week four is uh when it just became like hard mode is available or no i think week three was hard mode and then four was um when they had pro mode enabled and then five is kind of do anything that you missed out on and then week six is when the the game or the server starts to close down and says all right time to select a new one which is cool because then you get to like meet new players run into other people i still think that they should have some sort of persistent one but i guess we'll we'll see if that ever comes down the line i uh, use deviation skills activator catch a fish and defeat 50 enemies in total so that's our main objective which beats 
Over here, though, I saw there's like some animals I think you can get around this area. Let's set a marker there. The other unfortunate thing, too, when this does reset, of course, we'll lose our house. But I completely forgot you can. The, the way it works is you can set a blueprint. My house right now in game already has a blueprint. I mean, you've all seen it at this point if you're watching this far, but it's very, very basic. So it's nothing crazy to craft. The hardest part is going to be the appliances. The appliances within my house, I'm going to lose out on, unfortunately, until you unlock those again. Everything else, though, like the frame is fine as long as we have the materials for it, which we, we should get pretty early on. That'll be cool. But, well, I mean, we'll see about that. I think there's some animal around here. This game still has, like, a very cool vibe to it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. There's tons of them here. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh. Okay. It worked a little too. Sorry. Let me try capturing this one. Get over here. Did I miss? Small one. Hold on, let me see. Is that actually the correct one? Tranquilizer or throwing needle? Yeah, it is. What? I mean, they all just run. Try not to actually kill them. Oh, that one burnt. <gasps> oh my God. Quick. I got it. Approach it. Wait, we got a bear. Hey. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Fawn. Wait, yeah, we got a bear. Oh, that's awesome. So where does it go? It says I'm carrying too much already. Does it go into this slot? I should probably... Do these weigh anything in my inventory? I don't know why my inventory has been so... So high. It might be because of all the ammo that I have. I'm holding on to. A grade C bear. A bear that can be released after being used within your territory. Provides bear meat and hides. Pretty cool though. Oh. <laughs> I kill it too fast with the burn. Get back here. I want to see what happens if we capture a deer. I think we're going to loot. Where'd he go? I'm trying to lead it. Oh God, come on, right there. Are you kidding? Guys, I'm trying, I promise. I'm trying. <laughs> Luckily, these things are very easy to make. 
Oh my god. Alright, one more attempt. There it is. Holy. That's crazy. Um, well, we got it, at least. Can I put them in the back of my, my trunk? Access items? No way this works. <laughs> Let me put some ammo in here, too. I think that's what's taken up. Is it? No, I'm... Okay, yeah. I'm down to 69% now. Some sage. What else have we been missing here? I see that there's other rewards for me to collect. Yeah, they added some new cosmetics now, too. Sunny holiday set. They also added this one, which... I... It is... It is a loot crate, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but that does look sick, and I still have not, to this day, spent a single dollar in this game. And all you need to do is 30 times, but I don't know. I'm still going to hold. Almost got this one, but I don't know. The battle pass we did get because we reached uh, 5,000 views early on when this game originally launched. Let's see if we can find another bear, maybe. That would be kind of cool. And yeah, you can also pull these. So these animals and stuff that we're collecting right now, I saw that you're able to pull them into your new server. So it's, it's literally everything. If there's like ore that you want to pull or there's materials or ammo, like I said, the better it is, the more expensive it's going to be. So you might only be able to, to pull like a chest piece and like one mid-grade weapon or like one high high-end weapon and mid-grade chest piece. Um, but still... I mean, it's going to get you started. Try this again. Dude, these things are huge. Got it. I definitely want to get myself some uh, wolves, too. That would be cool. What is that one? Hold on. This one's a B grade. Unlocks when tameness reaches 20 and reaches 50. So I haven't seen that things might change or things will change, but I haven't seen how you can actually tame them or like increase the tameness just yet. Is that a bobcat or cheetah? Oh, we can't tame that one. Oh, man. That would have been so cool. Damn, some of them run so fast. Oh no, I was just about to throw it. Hey, actually go back here. Yeah, this is kind of cozy out here. Oh, it's a leopard. Like doing some... I mean, it's nothing like some Red Dead Redemption hunting, but it's still something. Kind of cool. Okay. Oh my god, I got it. Okay, so you, you can 
it, it doesn't seem like it has a lot of like bullet drop in a way i guess surprisingly which is cool i like that i wonder how many people are uh, actually on my server playing right now so we have unread mail Good how you even get to that Scenario is one of the key features to help. Oh, oh, literally today they dropped a scenario video that explains it. Everything you need to know, how to sign up for a new scenario, what a season renew is, which resources you can retain from this season and more. Huh. Um, maybe, uh, maybe we'll watch that. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of curious. If, I mean, if it's a detailed video, it's literally as of today, which today is the 30th. It's a Labor Day weekend, so a little bit of a long weekend, which is why I am not actually here. So again, if you're just joining the stream or if you're watching the YouTube video, leave a comment. We're 26 minutes in. Say what's up. 26 minutes. Hell yeah. Or if you're watching the stream, hello. Sorry, I'm not actually reading chat right now because this is actually a video since I am away. And once this video is done, part one is going to play and all of the other episodes. So feel free, play in the background and keep this video up or do your own thing. And uh, I don't know, whatever. It's kind of a test. Uh, I wanted to do a live test and see what happens uh, posting a video like this. So I do kind of want to go to one of the areas with some enemies too. These icons look a little bit different now. Oh yeah, now it shows a like an actual enemy there. We could do a silo as well. Let me go back to my base. Yeah, let's go back to my base real fast. Enable the teleport in current state. Oh, it's because we were in the car. It always takes a second remembering all the like little key binds and stuff when you haven't played a game for a little bit. But that's all right. Okay, so if I actually walk over to my, I know this isn't like technically my car, but can I still access the trunk? No. How about this? So we got a buck, a bear, another bear, and that's it. Can I put the fuel into the car? Um. Still carrying way too much. We do have some season uh, rewards I can equip too. Hold on, let's see. What else do we got here? Claim all. And I think we have a bunch of... Yeah, we have 9,000 star chrome right now. About to use it on the, uh, the Gamba machine a little bit. Now, do we get any meme points from that? No. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the animal taming. So, from my my understanding with the animal taming is the way it works is you essentially make a little area in your base and you can equip or put the animals into that spot, which obviously makes sense with the title of that. But what they actually do in there and what is like special about it that's where i'm a little uncertain because i don't think you can actually do like level the tameness right now at least unless if something has changed which there could have been but uh, unless if something has actually changed i don't know if you can do that 
break down this. Yeah, we could knock out one of the, the silos. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Plus that I get some of the other challenges done, the commissions that I have completed. Got this. They'll feel like I'm always carrying so much. It's probably a lot of like the food here. I do wish that there was a button where you could sort by weight. Like I know you can hover over it. Like this way is 0 0.01 pounds. Assuming. But that's that. This is one. So this one weighs 0.33. I don't know. I don't know what's weighing me the most down right now. Another 2,000. We're at 11k now. Space time. Use any items here that we don't already have. Like these don't weigh anything. The furniture in your backpack which is kind of cool. It doesn't weigh anything, so you don't need to worry about that. I don't think these weigh anything either. I don't know. All right, let's do it. Let's use the wish machine. I would love to get another KVD. That's the main LMG I've been using. If I could get another one of these, then... I can upgrade my current one with that blueprint. Nice. We got the juggernaut. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Funny that there's like no sound effects for this. Bonus. We got some extra fragments for it too. All right. So we got everything. I think. What is this one? Echoes from the Rift. Oh, is this like anything? Oh, you can also see the logs. All right, let's do it. We got the resource, so we might as well upgrade as much as I can. Spend it all. Even though I don't I don't really like Gamba stuff like this, but it is what it is. We're getting blueprint fragments, so that's what matters the most. Raining Clash B uh BP. Nice. And probably have yep, there it is. Just like that. We spent it all. But look how many pieces of gear that we got in the process and all the fragments. So now we can upgrade other uh, blueprints. And the blueprints, from my understanding, is one of those things that you bring with you into new seasons regardless. It's just you need the resources in order to craft it again. So... He just letting this letting this thing roll. Okay. Now that that went through, let's Okay. Yeah, they they just put up a video about seasons, scenario and seasons. So I think we might actually watch that. I want to I'm kind of interested. I haven't done a video like watch party as well <laughs> in a long time. Uh but we'll do it towards towards the end when like when I'm just about ready. Uh I think there there is some stuff I still want to try to knock out here. So 
Uh, where did it go? There's other things. Here we go. Oh, we already collected them. Blueprints. Go here. So now, like, technically, I should be able to go to my LMG. And this is the one I'm currently using. And then... Insufficient materials. Now let me... There's usually a tab on the left here that shows the items you can use to upgrade it. Because we're looking at the blueprint, right? Oh, there it is. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay, cool. So we used the blueprint that we just got to increase this blueprint and level it up some more. And now we can do it again. Oh my God. That is actually so sick. So now we would need more to be able to continue to upgrade it. So we upgraded the blueprint to literally tier three. So now the base version of this is going to be, look, you can see the difference here. Here's the standard one. So the one that I, the gun that I'm using right now, when I originally created it before any upgrades or enhancements or anything like that, it was 255, 500, 100. And it had all these stats. Now, if I craft the same weapon again, it's going to have 280. It's going to start at 280, 500, 100. And then are the chances higher or is that all the same? 18, 18, 300, 300. Okay, these all look the same. So it looks like the base the base damage is what increases the most. But look, if we upgrade it three more times to the maximum, then the base damage starts at 318. And then I'm assuming you can obviously keep upgrading and upgrading and enhance that one even more. So right now... Mine being at tier five, uh, tier five calibration 10, it's 393. So I would assume my guesstimate would be probably at calibration 10, or the maximum would be like maybe 520, 560 ish, maybe. Which, that would be kind of crazy. I'm sure there's somebody out there that has, like, some insane gear that they've created. Or, like, uh, used tons of blueprints to build up even better stuff. I guarantee it. Like, there, there's somebody out there that's got it. Okay. So, I want to try to do these challenges and get those rewards as well. So, let me check. Summon the... Commissions. Let's go do a, a silo, I think. Beat 20 human enemies. Enemy slayer. Yeah. Wish that there was somebody doing like... Say if I go to you... It would be nice if they had like a, here's all the current groups and not have to select through them. Yeah. That would be kind of cool, but all right. Let's figure out. Let's try going to this one. I don't know the last time I even did this and it's a headpiece. Headgear. Fast travel here. We'll do like one silo, and then after that, maybe we'll watch that, that other video that explains it. I just looked it up. It's about a seven-minute video uh, that explains scenarios. A lot of this information that I found or have seen is all from just like creators actually explaining it, how it works, because it's... 
I'm not gonna lie, it's it's definitely confusing. It's very confusing. I didn't understand about the whole like sign up thing until after I finally looked into like other videos that creators have made. Uh, we'll go on on hard here. Cause I don't want to suffer through pro solo. I even debate about doing it on normal there. Okay. Okay. Been a little bit since I've been in one of these. Forget. I hope this one kind of has some uh, human enemies. I, I want to say this. I, I kind of know which one this one is, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yep. Yes. Yeah, it's the one I was thinking of. I am curious how much different like the I wonder if the AI is stronger in hard mode like are they smarter at all or is it they simply just have more health and do more damage or one or the other because I don't want I don't want this game to really go too much into the style of Division 2 as much as I love Division 2. The reason I don't really play or haven't really gotten into Endgame with Division 2 is because some of the enemies, like you are unloading 10, 10 magazines into the enemy just to kill them. I mean, for some of these guys, it takes one or two. But... I don't know. I'd rather be like one of those things where they have maybe around the same health, but they are smarter and, and they'll rush you like together or something like that. But then again, this guy's not even shooting at me. The great one specimen loot crate. Wait, what? What is that? Used to unlock the corresponding now caught specimen. Did I get some? I need to use my uh, deviant too during this. Wait, did we just get an, an enemy? I mean, not an enemy, but the um. Another loot chest. Right. That. Need to go back there with the key card. Oh, I, I walked right past this one. Once again, hello, chat. Welcome, welcome. I. Uh, just got to give this reminder just in case for anybody that didn't see the beginning. Uh, so this is actually a pre-recording for the stream. Now, if you're watching just the YouTube video after the fact, then you don't really have to worry about this because I am going to post this as a normal video too once I get back. But if you are watching the stream, I am actually not here. I am on vacation right now. So that's why I'm not really responding to the chat as often. But once this video is done, then uh, it's going to actually play my entire playthrough so far of Once Human during season one for the launch. So from starting from episode one, going into episode 
19 and then it will get to this one again and then it's going to loop again i don't think it can go through the loop more than twice because by that time i should be back um but whenever i am back too i'll, I'll say something in chat as well be like hey guys just got back gonna edge stream but uh talk to you soon i don't know something like that neutralize up fire But yeah, trying something a little different. I might try to do this a little bit more often. I uh, I talked about it with some friends. Funny enough, a lot of larger streamers that I personally watch. Don't tell me I'm completely out of hand. Okay. Oh no. I'm almost out of ammo. I didn't bring enough with me. I should have took some out my car. Anyways, back to what I was saying, I, I've seen a lot of actually larger creators creating a secondary channel where they are, uh, it plays their older clips. Cause of course, like even for myself, I have videos from three years ago that people today, like if you, if you just found my channel while you're watching this right now, you probably don't know about any of the other previous things I've played. Um, and it's a good way to kind of like showcase like, hey, here's another playthrough that I did and all that fun stuff. Another, what are these crates? I don't know what these are. These are new from my understanding. Open to obtain a random great one specimen. Shadow hound obtained from a great one. This can be traded, discarded or sold. To merchants for energy links. Used to unlock this corresponding now caught specimen entry in the field guide. Go to events. Oh, right here. Elite field guide. Great one field guide. So after I use it, where does the item go? That's what I'm kind of confused about. Where'd it go now? We we might be kind of stuck here too. To be honest. Um. Oh boy. We might be stuck here anyways, because I am out of ammo. You know what? Let's actually exit. We'll change it up. We will change it up. We're going to go back to uh, my base. First, I'm going to grab my ammo and just have it on me and then we'll see i don't know i'm still really going back and forth on signing up for hard mode the only reason i don't think i probably will now though is because we'd be locked in it for six weeks and i would rather wait and sign up day one when it's available for a new one, for the, the new scenario that we were talking about earlier. The Prime Verse Clash. When this begins in the end of September, I believe. And then this one opens up in the end of October. The Way of Winter. So this is the new PvE scenario. This is the new PvP. But the cool thing about this one is it's faction. So you choose a faction. You join them. Fight. Or territory and, and stuff like that, I guess. And 
you, uh, I don't know, you get new rewards and new map potentially and all that cool stuff. But hold on, we're actually going to watch the other, the video now. So one sec. All right, I got it pulled up. So this is the Once Human All About Scenarios and Seasons. Is there like their official video explaining it and everything? So we'll see what they actually have. And uh, this hopefully will verify any information that I saw and hopefully go into a little bit more detail. It's only like a seven minute video, so. Hello everyone. What Welcome we got. to today's Once Human Crash Course. I'm your helpful companion. H37, there is so much to talk about when it comes to the design of seasons and scenarios in Once Human. I'm here to give you the rundown on these systems, helping you get the full picture on how they work in the game. On okay. the menu, scenario, season, and eternal yep. land. Yep. Let's dive into what each of these are all about. Please. Scenario. Think of a scenario as the theme of the server. It's a mix of gameplay rules, modes, and content. Each scenario has its own map, theme, okay. content, so they are all different maps. and duration. For instance, in the Manibus scenario, players team up through different phases of the season yep. to eventually face off against the powerful Manibus in the Prime War. Season. A season represents the progression cycle of a scenario. The length of a season can change depending on the scenario and how it's divided into different phases. As you go through these phases, more content becomes available. In the final settlement phase, which currently lasts for four weeks, you can either jump into a new scenario or stick around until the season wraps up. Eternal Land. Eternal Land is your very own permanent pocket dimension. See it as your personal hub for switching between seasons. It lets you keep most of your resources and items safe. You can build and okay. customize it however you like, and even invite your friends over to hang out. So it's like but your own little island. Seasons change, but Eternal Land remains. Eternal Land is like a separate dimension that never disappears. Each scenario is like a parallel universe with its own yep. set of rules and storyline. Each parallel universe has a fixed duration and set of rules. After some time, your adventure in that universe will come to an end. And that's pretty much where mine's at right when now. When this happens, you can either jump into a new universe restart the same one or return to eternal land and regroup with your gear and resources right so we've got the basics down but how does this unfold let's look at each of the steps involved one choose a scenario you want to explore and join the server after creating a character you can dive right in as the season winds down and enters its settlement phase, the server will open up registration for new scenarios. Three. Okay, you yep. Can sign so up that's where we're at. So when you're signing up for a new scenario, you don't need to create a character again. Just to clear that up. I figured they would probably say that. But this is for the first time ever. If you're playing for the first time, you'll go through this. You'll choose a server. You'll create your character. You'll play it. And then once your scenario is over you'll sign up for a new one with your current character and then scenario continues. right away and continue with your current character Four, you can also decide to stay in the current server until the season fully ends or you can head over to eternal land to rest and regroup where you can register for new scenarios anytime you want okay yeah that's down that's what process. i wanted to know but how about what you get to keep from seasons? When you start a new scenario, most of your game progress will be retained. Here's what will be kept. A. Your character. Name. Appearance. Friends. Etc. B. Currencies. Christogens. Star crumbs. Mitsuko's marks. Etc. C. Progression items. 
blueprints, blueprint fragments, accessories, mods, recipes, etc. D. Paid cosmetics items. E. House blueprints, e. furniture formulas, F. and furniture, except those made via memetic specialization. F. Main and side quest progress. You can quickly yeah. complete old tasks and grab those rewards. So that's what I think is really cool is like I was saying earlier in this video slash stream um, at the very beginning when you join a new server if it has main story or side quests that you already completed you literally walk over to them you equip it or you like talk to them like you normally would but instead it just gives you all the rewards for doing it so that way you don't have to do the same content again. Uh, and then that way you can kind of pick up and level up to where you were at originally and do the harder content um, again. So that's cool. When starting a new scenario, you can spend resource points to bring some of your resources from your Eternal Land Depot into the new season. These include A, weapons and armor. Yep. B, common resources, materials, medicines, ammo. Etc. C. Deviations. D. Calibration blueprints. However, some items can't make it to the next season for balance reasons. These include core gameplay items like steroids and chaotic cortexes in the Manny Bus scenario. Special items from memetic specialization okay. yeah. like solar drills, character levels, experience, and map exploration progress. Now, what exactly inspires the scenario system? That there I'm kind of curious. reasons to explain the intricacies of once human seasonal design. One, it offers diverse and immersive experiences. Each scenario is a unique adventure with a set duration, letting you fully engage with the story. For instance, in the Manny Bus scenario, the urgency builds as the season progresses. Once you finish a scenario, you can choose a new one to play rather than being in a static world. Two, yeah, it encourages. I think it's a it, it's a cool system. To team up, periodic resets like levels allow players of all experience levels to play together. Veterans can easily join new friends on the same server. While veterans might have some advantages, hmm. the gap isn't as huge as in traditional MMORPGs. That's true. Three, it promotes a balanced and friendly environment. The scenario system keeps new players from being left behind over time. Each new season levels the playing field, ensuring a balanced and friendly game environment. Every adventure brings fresh opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, what's on the horizon for scenarios? Yeah. Ooh, We're okay. On rolling out a faction Here's the factions faction versus faction one. In September. And a fresh Well, hold on now. Do you see that? Okay, so somebody brought that up too. That person just used an ability. So this is faction versus faction. It is PVP, of course. But a faction versus Look at the faction ability that they use. In September. You and can actually use player specific abilities rather than just like deviants. From my understanding, somebody said that in one of my streams. And I was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. We'll see how that goes. But that's definitely got me interested. Scenario featuring temperature mechanics. We're also working on unlimited PvP, longer seasonal cycles, hmm. and permanent scenarios. Our goal is to keep delivering fresh content and a diverse open world experience to satisfy... Okay, so there is an actual date. So, September 27th. That's when I'll try to record, and then this is sometimes in uh, December. I mean, not December, October. Not December. But yeah, I want. I hope if they do end up swip, swapping and doing uh, permanent scenarios, I hope they allow you to still sign up for the new scenarios that they do. Every survival enthusiast in once human. That's a wrap for today's crash course on seasons and scenarios. If you've got any questions, drop us a message on social media. Okay, yeah. So that was pretty cool.
I, I like that they actually did a, a full-on video on explaining everything. And I think that kind of validated a lot of the information that I've seen so far because I've tried finding so much. And sitting here reading this, like, it does actually explain it. But I just think it's a lot, especially when you click on, like, sign up. And then there's, like, yeah, there's, I don't know. But, yeah, I think they're kind of right about the whole uh, separating players and MMOs. Like, because right now, say if, if I wanted to go play WoW right now, completely different genre, whatever, and it's the issue I've always ran into. But if I wanted to play WoW right now, I would have to play and level up. I could buy a boost token, level my character, go and do the new content, but I have no idea what's going on. Um, and even in, in one of my favorite MMOs, Star Wars The Old Republic, same thing. Like, if I want to go play the new content, I have to play the content before that to be able to understand. But in something like this, if it's its own story, its own scenario, its own thing from the get-go, like, you can bring your character. You reset levels, but now there's new things to unlock, new things to use, new uh, medics. So, like, these won't transfer. But they, in theory, it's going to be because these don't transfer because new things are in so i'm interested i like that i've been saying it since day one i'm treating the game as if it doesn't reset right now but if it does then uh we'll see what happens so i don't know what this for policy comments about all fine transactions oh, okay they're talking about um like people spamming in chat like oh i'll sell you gold or whatever which i haven't really seen a lot of in this game because it's kind of hard to but that i think is going to be it for this one uh if you guys ended up enjoying it leaving likes as always really help out i will try to recover what i can in the meantime we got tons of games i will be covering uh like i said we've got base marine 2 huge one i think a lot of people that aren't aware of that one already are probably going to be really excited when they see it kind of like hell divers too but with more lore and a lot more uh than just dropping in and doing the job and then extracting and doing it again there's a story there's waves there's also regular multiplayers yeah uh if you're watching the stream right now then part one of where it all began is about to play and the rest of the episodes will begin afterwards if you're watching just the video itself. Thank you for watching. Either way, join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. YouTube is Cass's Plays. Twitch is Cass's Plays TV. For now, that's it. I'll see you all. And if you're watching the stream again, enjoy. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.